Hey guys, I am super excited for today's video because in collaboration with one of my all-time favorite brands, The Quick Flick, I'm super excited to celebrate with them their launch of their new Quick Flick shade called Hot Fudge, which is a gorgeous chocolate brown color. Now, if you're a new face and you've never heard me talk about this before or you've never heard of The Quick Flick, it is an awesome wing liner stamp product. So you get two pens per set and on one end you have a wing liner stamp stencil for your flick and on the other end you have an actual felt tip liner and this product is just so revolutionary it has just totally changed my makeup game prior to discovering this I could not do wing liner because I can't freehand it to save my life my eyes are actually quite different shapes which makes it really difficult so if you're someone like me who just finds wing liner really difficult then these are going to be a game changer for you and even those of you who can slay wing liner no matter what product you use this is just going to be a massive time saver in your routine so up until now they've only had their intent black shade but now they've just launched the chocolate brown color which is called hot fudge and I'm super excited to show you guys it it comes in three different sizes the same as the intense black and I'm going to try on all three of the sizes for you so you can see how they look on the eye I'm going to give my advice on what size I would recommend for different eye shapes and different people and just share my overall thoughts and opinions on the color and also how you remove it all that sort of jazz so if you guys are interested in learning more about the new hot fudge quick flick then simply keep on watching and I shall get straight on in to getting it on my eyes and telling you all about it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the beautiful box that your orders come in. Now I don't know about you but like I'm a sucker for packaging so the fact that everyone who orders the quick flick gets these beautiful 99 problems but wing liner ain't one boxes that their quick flick comes inside is just so special to me. So when you open your box you'll see that you have your little individual quick flick cartons. Now each carton is labeled on the top with the size and the shade and you'll also see with the different color quick flicks that on the side of the box this side panel here if you have the intense black then the box will be black if you have the chocolate brown then this side of the box will be brown so if you guys want to keep it in its actual packaging it'll help you distinguish the color difference at least so inside each of these little boxes you actually get two liner pens now the reason you have two pens is because each of the quick flick stamps have a slight curve so there's one that is for your left and one that is for your your right so you just have to make sure you pair it with the correct eye otherwise your liner might look a little bit wonky so here is the size 12 the largest of them all which is my favorite I'm not gonna lie I like large and in charge wings and that is what the size 12 gives you which is called the grand so that is the two stamp ends You've got your left and your right. Then on the other end of each of the pens, you just have a normal felt tip liner, as you guys can see there. Now with the caps of these pens, it is really important to make sure that when you close them, that they actually click shut. If you don't hear a click, your pen is not shut properly and it will dry out. So you've got to really make sure the lid is on. So as you guys can see, you've got to make sure you really push it down and it clicks. So that's how you know your lid is on properly because it should click in place. So I'm just going to stamp all three other sizes on my hand to show you guys so you can see them all in comparison. So we have the eight millimeter, which is the petite size. Then we have the 10 millimeter, which is called the modest. Then we have the 12 millimeter, which is my fave, which is called the grand and it is the largest out of all three. So here are the three different sizes in the quick flick. Now my personal advice is if you are not used to wearing wing liner, you might want to start off with the smallest being the petite or the modest. And I also think those two sizes are good for daytime wear. And that's what I think is really great about this hot fudge color. It is just such a really nice chocolate brown color. So although it's still quite dark, it's not as intense as black. So it's a lot more wearable. And a lot of feedback I've had from you guys who watch me and follow me who are sort of a little bit older, so more like middle age plus a lot of you guys want to wear wing liner but you find black is far too harsh I know my mum's like that she cannot stand black liner on herself but she loves brown liner so this color in the quick flick is perfect for those of you that feel that way for me personally I just think no matter what your age is you can rock whatever you want if you like the look of black eyeliner don't be scared to wear it doesn't matter how old you are you can wear whatever you want but obviously for daytime wear it's just a little bit more neutral a little bit more like I don't know, like, how to explain it? Like, it's just not quite as bold, but it still is because it's wing liner, you know, like, wing liner is bold. But um, my recommendation would definitely be that if you're a beginner, 
Start off with the two smaller sizes. If you're someone who likes to wear false lashes or really dramatic eye makeup or really bold eye makeup, then you've got to go the grand without a shadow of a doubt. I personally find it obviously gives you the thickest wing. So when you're applying falsies, it's a lot more forgiving because you've got more space to attach the falsies to. So if you don't have your false lashes um, connected like to your natural lash, you're not going to really notice because you've got like nice brown or black thick liner and also I just think like the bigger the more dramatic the eyeshadow then the bigger the wing needs to be personally now with all three of these sizes you can definitely extend them yourself as well I haven't extended the stamp at all on my eye at the moment I've got the grand on right now and this is without any extension whatsoever what I mean by extending it is you simply take the felt liner and you just extend out the flick longer so you just make it a little bit thinner and longer if you decide you want something a little bit more dramatic it just gives you like a really good guideline to work with and that's why I like it so much it's really like a stencil stamp and then you can build off it if you want to or you can leave it as is either way it totally works so I'm going to demonstrate to you guys now that this is smudge proof now I have really long nails so I can't like um, smudge it just with the tip of my finger because I'll scratch my hand so I'm just going to use my flat fingers and I'm going to do a smudge test so as you guys can see I'm like pulling the skin there see not a single smudge like I'm really pulling my skin and nothing on my hand totally clean smudge free it's so awesome like I can't even begin to explain to you guys how awesome it is not to mention like you're never going to rub your face like that like you would never ever ever rub your eye that hard so it's literally not going anywhere and it's waterproof too so if you get watery eyes if it's pours down outside if someone throws water in your face guess what your wing liner is not going anywhere nowhere it is totally smudge proof it is so good and it just it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. So as much as this is like bulletproof, it is still very easy to remove if you use the right product. So I personally have found that my cellar water from Garnier gets it off so easily. So when I've got full eye makeup on, I just simply get a cotton round, I'll soak it, I'll hold the cotton round on my eye, and then I just wipe away gently. And if I ever make a mistake and I stuff up my wings at all, because, you know, you have to still get it on the right angle, so you can definitely still make mistakes if you're not paying attention tension or if you like under stamp or over stamp or whatever it's super easy to remove with a cotton tip as well so if I make a mistake and I want to like remove it and start again I simply wet a cotton tip and then I just remove it and then I'll re-stamp it now to get like the most symmetrical stamp possible I personally like my eye shape I swear like changes all the time okay so when I'm doing mine I prefer to do the stamp first and then I do my lash line second so depending on how rested I am and whether I have fresh Botox or not depends on like how hooded my eyes are. So today my eyes aren't too hooded so I angled them a little bit higher but typically when I'm doing really dramatic eye makeup I actually angle it more straight out to my hairline. So just depending on your eye shape will depend on how you want to actually angle the liner. So if you've got quite hooded eyes you probably want to actually angle it more straight out. So when you're applying I simply line up the lower part of my stamp. Let me get my right eye one. I simply line up the lower part of the stamp with the lower part of my eye and then I just look and pay attention as to where the actual outer point of the liner is. So if I feel like my eyes are a little bit hooded or I've got lots of eyeshadow on, then I will simply direct it like straight out to my hairline so that my flick goes more straight out than up. And if I'm having days like today where I actually have like minimal eyeshadow on and I'm not feeling too hooded in my eyelids and I will angle it up a little bit more more towards like the tail of my brow so that is how I would suggest like giving yourself a guide you need to just sort of line up the flick with where like you want it pointing to so the more hooded your eyes are the more pointing down the flick should be and the more open your lids are you can just you can do whatever if you've got like really nice open lids lucky you you can literally point it in any direction you want and then as for filling in my lash line I usually just stamp and then I go in from the outer corner first and I start from the top side and then I drag down and then I usually connect my inner corner of my eye as well. I kind of do it different every time but I think the easiest way is definitely to start from like the top of the flick and just connect it down to your lash and make that really nice sort of 
angle, if you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't know, it's not a triangle, but you guys get what I mean. So you start off at the end of where your stamp was and then you drag it down. So you guys will obviously see in the demo how I apply it. It's kind of like hard to talk through it as I'm doing it because I still need to concentrate on my eyeliner because I'm not like the greatest at applying it still. This definitely makes it a lot easier, but I still need to concentrate. Individual set retails for $34.99 Australian dollars or they do bundles as well as so you can get two or three different sizes at a cheaper price. So the bundle of two is $59.99 Australian dollars and the three pack is $89.99 Australian dollars. So the more sizes you buy, the cheaper it is than buying them all separately. So the Quick Flick is an Australian based company, but they do offer worldwide shipping. So if you want to check out what the shipping rates are to your country, then simply jump on their website. I'm going to link them in the description box for you guys and I'll put as much information down there for you as well. But I think I've just about covered everything. So if there's anything I've missed and you have any questions at all please feel free to comment them below and I'll get back to you if you enjoyed the video and you thought it was helpful then please give me a big old thumbs up it really helps me out and of course if you're a new face and this is your first time here on my channel you should definitely subscribe before you leave and once again thank you so much to the quick flick for teaming up with me on today's video I seriously cannot get enough of them they are my most favorite discovery of 2018 I'm so glad I saw Huda Beauty talk about them and I took the plunge and purchased one for myself because from day to of trying this product I have been hooked and I highly recommend it to you guys to try out too so thank you so very much for watching guys and I'll be talking to you all really soon bye